Alright, so starting off um, in the very center of Auckland, we have the CBD or the Central Business District. So as you guys can see, um, this is basically the city. It's actually very small when you compare it to wider Auckland, which is kind of like this whole large area here. When I talk about renting prices, um, it's usually on a weekly basis because yeah, in New Zealand you pay rent by the week and um, obviously all the prices are going to be in New Zealand dollars. So if you want to rent a three bedroom in the uh, city centre, it's probably going to cost you around 940 New Zealand dollars. So that is quite a lot. And mostly they are going to be like apartments and smaller um, than, you know, your normal houses. Because, yeah, in the city, um, you know, there's a lot of high rises. So they're not really going to be like, you know, large spaces. So this is a popular area for, you know, tourists or uni students. Um, most people that I know that live in the city aren't like from Auckland or their families aren't here like they're you know either studying at university or maybe I mean I do have a cousin that lives here um he seems to enjoy it so like if you're you know a young working professional and you really kind of value convenience you know you want to be like where all the hustle and bustle is then the CBD could be a good option um as you guys can see the main universities are here and then this is the main um street Queen Street which is like um this big street here so yeah, you've got like all the main shops and stuff. So you've got, you know, Sky City and the casino. So if that's something you want to work and like all the big kind of, you know, Deloitte and all the other big, you know, companies and things like that, most of their headquarters are in the city. You've also got a train station and, you know, lots of different bus stops. So if you are in a city, like you probably won't need a car. And then moving a little bit out to the kind of inner suburbs, you have Parnell, which is on the right side and then Ponsonby on the west. So a house, a three bedroom in Parnell is probably going to run you $800. This is a, again a very nice, like a very wealthy suburb. Um, it's known to be kind of, you know, very fancy. There's lots of mansions. Um, you've got very kind of upmarket cafes and boutique shopping. And it's got quite a European influence as well. Um, it also is, you know, quite historic. Like it's close to the city centre. So it's it's a very well located, um, you know, you've got like the coast here and then you've got a city right here so yeah also again you've got like Newmarket which is really close as well and um they just opened like a Westfield in Newmarket so it's got like a big shopping center so it's quite popular and again you've got a train station as well and then on this side you've got Ponsonby which is quite interesting because Ponsonby used to actually be like a working class um you know quite run down suburb um and then it basically just got gentrified when all the working professionals started moving in so yeah nowadays Ponsonby is like a very um wealthy suburb all the like this street of like really nice cafes and uh, you've got it's close to Hearn Bay um you know like the beaches and stuff so yeah again a house a three bedroom in Ponsonby is probably going to be $800 moving a little bit down here you've got Grey Lynn so this is again quite a central suburb it's got it's quite um young you know you've got like a lot of artsy people here and um it's also quite close to Kingsland and Eden Park so if you're into sports then um it's a good place to be here yeah, Eden Park <laughs> Uh, again, you've also got Western Springs and the zoo and things like that. And then coming a little bit down here, you've got Mount Eden. So this is still pretty central, but it's a little bit um, far out from uh, the city. A three bedroom in Mount Eden is going to be about $730. Um, again, it does have quite a few like mansions and villas and things like that and student apartments. So it is a pretty uh, trendy neighborhood. And you've also got like, you know, the Mount Eden Summit, which is, you know, a really nice um, walk and hike show you guys if you guys enjoy like you know hiking and walking it's like a really nice place to go you got you know great views of the city and then yeah moving a little bit down here you've got one tree hill um so this is gonna run you about six hundred dollars a week so yeah it's pretty much similar to i guess the others um like mount eden and like the surrounding suburbs but yeah you'll notice that as the further you get from the city center basically the cheaper it's going to be. Um, and then you've got like the kind of more working class suburbs around here, Mount Albert and Mount Roskill. So they're going to run you about 550 a week. Um, there's quite a large Asian population here and um, you know so there's good Chinese food and things like that and it's quite like up and coming. And um, yeah Auckland as a whole is pretty diverse as well. And then you've got here Onihanga which is another pretty working class suburb but I feel like it's kind of getting gentrified at the moment. Um, so yeah three bedrooms is going to be about 550 a week. And you've got um, Trismart, which is like a really cheap kind of outlet shopping center. And you've got the train station. So yeah, Aldi Hung is pretty popular nowadays um, because it's quite well connected to Auckland and it's um, the city. And yeah, you've got like a lot of 
things going on here, basically everything that you'll need. When we move to the east of Auckland, you've got uh, Rimiwira and St. Helier's. Um, again, quite wealthy suburbs around here. A lot of mansions and, you know, apartments and things like that. So three bedroom in Rimiwira is going to be about... 750 a week um, and then coming a little bit out you've got Ellerslie pretty nice suburb you've got you know a main road of like restaurants and it's quite well connected as well you've got a train station and a three bedroom in Ellerslie is going to be about 600 and then when you come a little bit out here more to Mount Wellington area the rent lowers to about 550 a week um, and you've got you've got Sylvia Park which is a, a massive shopping center it's basically I think it's the biggest shopping mall in New Zealand and again, you've got a train station, so you're quite well located. And Mount Wellington is actually like quite a large like commercial hub. You've got a lot of um, businesses around here. So yeah, also, you know, you could find a job around here. So this could be a good place to live. Um, and then coming a little bit more east, you've got Pakarang and Howick. So Howick, which is where I live, like in this general area, um, I think it's a really nice suburb. Like um, it's definitely really, really safe. Um, like, I could, you know, leave my door open and I know nothing's going to happen. Um, so this is quite popular for families. And in Pakaranga, a three-bedroom is going to be about 500. And, yeah, so this area, you you know, close to the beach, close to the sea. So it's a pretty popular suburb. And um, the only main thing is that, like, it is quite far from the city, as you guys can see. Like, if I take the bus um, minimum, like, 45 minutes, maybe even more, like, you know, in rush hour can be like over an hour, so that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, overall, it isn't really nice suburb if you are thinking of, you know, moving here with your family or, you know, maybe you're working close by, then it's definitely a good option. Um, and then when you come a little bit south, you've got, um, you know, kind of like Botany, Danny Mora area. So this area is going to run you about 600 a week for, for a three bedroom. And um, so you've got Botany Town Centre, which is like a main shopping mall, and you've got, you know, all the supermarkets and basically everything you'll need here. Um, so yeah, again, this is a quite a nice suburb. It's a pretty family-friendly suburb. Um, you've got a bus here that takes you directly to the city, but it can be quite packed and, like, busy, you know, during rush hour and stuff like that. Um, and then when you come down south, you've got Flatbush here, which is a very new suburb. Um, it, you, this area kind of used to be, like, farmland, and then now it's getting developed so you've got a lot of houses that are like really new um show you yeah like these kind of houses um uh, my dad actually like lives in one of these and um they are quite new but they do tend to be like very close to each other um so that's a con i guess but i mean if you do have money obviously you can kind of get more land and more kind of space for yourself and then when you come down to proper heart of south auckland you've got manukau manurewa um this is like known to be kind of the I mean, it is kind of where all the the lowest income people live, I guess. Um, so personally, I wouldn't really live here. Like, it kind of has a bad reputation for, like, high crime rates and things like that. Um, but, I mean, in saying that, like, I know people that live here. So, you know, it's not like bad people live here or anything. I guess they just do have a bad reputation. Um, I went actually went to uni in Manukau, and it's a pretty nice place. Like, you know, you've got a mall here, so you've got lots of different food um, places and shopping. Um, Manukau is also quite well connected to the city. You've got a train station here, so you can get to the city in about half an hour. So, um, oh, I didn't mention price. So this is definitely like the cheapest kind of suburb in Auckland. So a three bedroom in Manurewa was going to be at like four fifty a week, and Manukau is like five hundred ish a week, maybe a bit less. Um, but yeah, so this area is actually close to the airport um, and close to Middlemore Hospital. So if you're thinking of working in those areas, maybe. You could consider it um but personally i wouldn't really like live in this area um and then when you come all the way on the opposite side to the north shore uh you've got devonport here which is another very affluent suburb so a three bedroom here is going to run you about 750 a week so devonport um as you guys can see like doesn't have any land connection but there's a ferry here, which can get you to Brudomart, which is the main kind of city in about 15 minutes. So it's actually really convenient. And there's a lot of like cool restaurants and yeah, it's just good for families, you know, good schools and things like that. Also, you've got Takapuna, which is a little bit more north. A three bedroom is going to run you about $680 a week. Another great suburb for families, um, good schools, you know, you've got the beach here. And yeah, um, and then coming a little bit further north, you've got Albany. So a three bedroom is going to be about 590 
Um, this is another up and coming suburb. The whole of North Shore is actually pretty new. And again, Albany is a very nice suburb. I have friends who like came here and they tell me it's really good. And you're also close to like Snow Planet, which is like indoor snowboarding. So if that's something that you're interested in, uh, maybe the North Shore is a good option for you. And um, yeah, to be honest, I haven't really been to the North Shore much, but everyone that I know that lives there seems to love it. So uh, I think it's a good option. Like it's also actually really close to the city. Maybe like you can get to the city in about 15 minutes, which is really convenient um, just through the Harbour Bridge. Um, although the Harbour Bridge, um, this bridge here, uh, that it's actually constructed I think 1950s um it can get packed like during rush hour and stuff so try and avoid that I guess if you can and then lastly coming over to West Auckland um this is another kind of I guess more working class uh you know you've got like tradespeople and stuff living here um it's quite green and like environmentally conscious so just gonna go into some particular suburbs you've got Glen Eden here and three bedroom is gonna run you about $480 a week and then you've got Henderson, another popular suburb, that's 500, around 500 a week. Um, around here you've got like West City, which is another big kind of shopping mall. And you got, again, you've got a train station, so you're actually quite well connected to the city. Um, and then further out you've got uh, Swanson, um, which again is around $500 a week. Um, so yeah, I think the West, I don't know, I haven't, I, I haven't been here much, but like, I assume it would be pretty nice. You know, I know people that live here. And yeah, you're obviously really close to the West Coast beaches, which I think is a huge advantage because these, in my opinion, are the best beaches in Auckland. So yeah, you've got Piha, Mirawai, everything like that. And you've got the Waitaki Ranges pretty much like on your back door. So if you love hiking, if you love surfing, I think the West would be a great option for you. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you have found it helpful and I will see you guys next time.